Yahoo YouTube. I am Super Genki. This is your daily coronavirus update. You know, I was thinking about it. I am really interested in learning about the coronavirus. And it would be incorrect for me not to want to share my knowledge with you on this topic because it's really, it's really relevant. To preface the video I made last week, it's not an exaggeration. It really isn't. There's 84 cases in Spain, 93, 94 in America right now, upwards 4,000 in South Korea. This virus doesn't grow linearly. It grows exponentially. What do I mean by this? You ever heard that, do you want like a million dollars every day? Do you want a penny times its worth every day for 30 days? By exponential growth, I mean that like, sure you could have one case today, two tomorrow, four the next, and then jump to 12, and then jump to 109, and then jump to 1,000. I'm not really sure how well we're gonna be able to contain this, this virus. But there's not really anything that we can do about the containment. It's not up to us to contain the virus because this is a problem for the governments. And while maybe the governments have the safety of their civilians in their best interest, I think you should always have a plan B just in case things go south, which in these cases they do tend to do. Now, what would be a plan B that I would recommend for you guys to have? Not preparing for the virus, preparing for the shortages. We've already seen this in some of the small town America. Some grocery stores have already sold out items that would be valuable in a post-apocalyptic sense. Now, do I think coronavirus is going to be the apocalypse? No, I don't think it has a low mortality rate. It is highly transmissible and I do feel like it's going to spread all around the world and it might be something we're going to have to deal with over the next two years or so. I don't know what I'm going to say. For quite a while until a vaccine is synthesized, which could be over a year from what statistics for companies are saying. So I just want you guys to be safe and I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that this is a nothing burger. I hope that, you know, that it doesn't go out of control, but like positive thinking, our hopes are sometimes misplaced when they're placed in other things that are not ourselves. And you know, a wise man would say, control what is in your control. Focus on what is in your control. Do not focus on what is outside of it. Become indifferent to the things that are indifferent to you. I, I read some quote today on Instagram. Can't remember it that well. But just saying, you might want to start prepping a little bit. If not buying a lot of food, you might just want to go and start looking to get some can openers. Because if you don't have those peel off cans, you're gonna be crying trying to use a knife to open one of those cans. Uh, what else can we do? Some food, some shelf food. I don't know, shelf food is actually pretty cool. I didn't eat any nuts until I started eating shelf food. And nuts are pretty good. I have a bunch of other cans of food that I've never cooked in my life, so I had to learn how to cook these things to actually eat them. And yeah, just just prepare yourself for pandemic thinking now so that when pandemic strikes, you'll be ready. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for right now. I'm gonna have another one coming later today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. You know what I mean? We need those likes. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. I mean, do you think that this, this virus is gonna spread out of control? I've been really laser focused, not laser focused, but I've been interested in learning about it. So I've seen the exponential growth and now I'm like, you know, I have my food. I might want to go buy some more today. I don't know. Share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking and relative information out there to people. I'm telling you, a lot of people still don't know that this thing is real and it is real. So we should uh, take advantage of the calm before the storm. And yeah, just thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.